Hi, this is Access Tutorial to Case Problem 1. Since this is a longer uh, assignment, I've decided to finish it all ahead of time and now I'm just going to go through each step. So, in step 1 we have to open the Pine Hill database and click the file, open, and then select the file, double click it, or just click open. But I already did that. So. And then we have to open the teacher table in design view. So double click the teacher table and then click the view. And then we have to follow the steps shown in figure 2.46. So this is the table. And for each step, you have to make sure that it's the right data type. And if you need to change it, you can just click on it and use the arrow to select the right one. To choose a primary key, you right click and click the primary key, but it's already selected. And the description, you just type in anything you need to as the table, whatever the table tells you to. For the field size, each one of them each text one will they usually come with 225 characters but they tell you to change it to different numbers and this is the caption so same idea you type on it and click on it and type anything you need now for the date and time one higher date if you need to change the format same idea click and then use the arrow to select the appropriate format. In step 3 we have to add a new field named beginners. So if you need to add a new field you just click, type the name and then you have to select the data type. So for beginners it's a yes or no, yes or no type. So right here and then the format same idea as before. Use the arrow to select the correct one. Then we have to save the table And yes, usually a new message appears indicating that you lost some data, but that's alright, you can just click yes. Now we have to go back to the other kind of view. So use the button, and this is the way you do it, you just go back and forth between the two. And they want us to resize the takes beginners and usually the way you resize a column is by placing the mouse over the line and waiting for the double arrow to show and then double click it and it just does it automatically for all of them. Next we have to import an access file so go into external data and then click access and then you have to browse for the file that you need so they want us to import from music and then you want to import a student table which is the only one and then you don't care to save the steps so it created another one for me because I already have the original one the one I did earlier to open it double click it and then we have to add two extra fields in design view and I know in data data sheet view and one of them is date and birth with date and time field. And the next one using the tab key moves over. The next one is text and it's called gender. Then we have to use phone quick start selection to add a few extra fields but first we have to add, uh, click on birth date because they want them to be between zip and birth date so in field click more fields and what they ask for is for the phone quick start then in the next step we have to delete 
the business form and the fax number field. So I usually right click them and then delete field. And same thing for fax. Right click, delete field. Actually, they were asking to delete those two fields in design view. So I'll click the view icon and you will place the mouse right here until the arrow shows click on it and then right click and it will browse it does the same thing in step 12 actually step 11 we have to modify the design of the student table so that it matches the design in figure 247 so the way you do that is you just follow the instructions you first go to they want the field ID renamed student ID so you click and rename they want it to be text a primary key for description Field size is 22, uh, 255, so you can either click on it or when you are in a primary key, you can click F6 and it goes right down to it. And that should be 7. Caption should be student ID. But I already did this entire table in my original one. So it's pretty easy to see date and time, use the arrows, description type it in, use the, for the format, again you use the arrows, it's pretty easy. Then we have to move the last name field so that it's right after the first name. So make sure the arrow shows, click it and then you just drag and make sure the thicker line is right below where you want it to be and it moves it right there. Then we have to add the records shown in figure 2.48. So for that you need to go back in data sheet view. And yes, you want to save your changes. And you just copy everything as it is using the tab key to move from one field to another. the tab key and type in the first name use the tab key again and so on again I already did everything for step 14 we have to import a text file so go to external data click text file and then you choose where you where your file is so and students text double click it and then you want to make sure that you append a copy of the records to the table we have to choose to which table so since I'm using I'm working with students one that's where it's going yeah so if the table is open it will not work but they can close it for you and then it keeps going and then you want to make sure it's delimited click next if you're using a comma between fields click next and then finish and you do not want to save the steps. So if I go back into my student, student one table, I can see that everything has been imported. Then we have to resize each column to make sure everything fits right. So double click. When the double arrow shows for each one of them and so on. And then you have to save it and close it. I'm gonna close the other two also. Then in step 17 we have to create a new table in design view. So in create click table design and then we have to enter everything from figure 2, uh, 249. So 
so as I did before we type everything in um, the different one that we haven't used before is lesson length which uses numbers type and lesson cost which uses currency so I'll just do those so numbers and then description is 30 or 60 minutes for field size we have to choose integer and then we just have to type in the caption lesson length then lesson cost that's currency format as currency it's already done and the small place is zero and then caption lesson monthly cost then we have to specify contract ID as the primary key but since I did not type it in I can't do that but I can show you how so you just in the under description you right click so let's say lesson length was primary key right click and primary key if you look at my original table you can see that you can see that in my original contract table contract ID is the primary key and it shows this little key right here now to rename it you have to save it and then type in the name but I don't care for this table so while in contract we have to go back to data sheet view and we have to use start and end dates quick start and they want us to make the lesson type the active field because they want to put the contract starting date between teacher and lesson type so you make it active you go to fields more and then you click start and end date and these two fields will will appear Since I'm here, I'm also going to resize them and make them all nice. Then we have, we have to go back to design view. And for the start date and end date, we have to make sure that short date format appears. And the caption is contract start date and same thing for end date. Then we have to import an Excel sheet. So again, under external data, click Excel, choose the file, will be lessons, then append a copy of the record to the table, table contract, but I'm not going to go through this whole thing again since I already added them, but normally you click OK and then you'll be asked if you want to save your steps and you don't. So I'm going to cancel this. Then in the last two steps we have to copy the copy the record from here into our table and we know how to do that and the last step is to create a relationship so you use the show table you select which two you want to use and so if you want student you add contract you add then you close and then you drag one to another, you click these two and create. But this is already done right here, you can see. And same idea for the teacher and contract. And this is the end of this tutorial.